actually was on official duty that day when the plane come overhead. He strafed the barracks. I lost a button on my shirt. 75 years later, William Flatters can still see the attack on Pearl Harbor just as vividly as when he experienced it. That plane was about the height of these lights over here. I could see the man's face. I don't think I'll forget it. The sights and smells the 20-year-old endured were chilling. Complete devastation. Uh, like a tornado had gone through and then they burned it. The smell is something you never forget. Where some of the boys got caught in, in the fire and burning. For a year, volunteers with Honor Flight Austin did their best to persuade Flatters to travel to D.C. to see the National Memorial, to experience the respect he and other veterans of his generation so deserve. This anniversary, he gave in. I guess I got the, the honor of being about the last one walking around. Flatters, who is also a Purple Heart recipient, joined eight other World War II veterans. Marine Dick Zellers of Lago Vista was in college at the time of the attack. So those men on aboard those ships deserve all of this honor that we're receiving today. The thanks would be sufficient, but not for those guys. Their memories will last forever. After a short service at the airport, the men departed for D.C. In addition to attending a special anniversary event at the World War II Memorial, they will make a stop at the White House. Wednesday, as the nation pauses to remember the fallen, Flatters hopes you will remember this. Just take care of our country. We don't want to lose it. Reporting at APIA, Noble Newton, Fox 7 News. These trips are paid for by donations. If you'd like to help out Honor Flight, you can go to honorflightaustin.org.